is I separated the video for how to uh, install a grow, grow mat. So I got this uh, multi grow mat tool kit from New Master, and the sizes I got is uh, three eight and one half. I'll be using the three eight, and I got some extra extra three eight. So first is I watched some video on how to do it all. So. So I'll be doing it for the first time. Just place this cube thing that comes with the kit. Put it under. And then you need a grow mat. A 3-8 grow mat. The smaller one. You're supposed to put on it. And then this thing. I don't know if you could see that very good, but... This thing, and then this is a 3-8, and this is the puncher. Here's the puncher. So the first thing we're going to do, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure one inch. I mean, I probably do two inches, two inches here, and one inch from the top. That's where I'm going to be making the hole. So after that, after that, I'm going to put this little block over under, under it, and then this is the puncher, I suppose it's called. It's called the hole punch. So you're gonna. I don't have a hammer, and my project is really small, so I don't need a hammer. I'm just gonna use this to punch a hole. Sit down, bud. Huh? So after you made a hole. So after you made a hole, this is what you're going to do. You're going to put this little thing at the bottom. And then you put this, what is this called, the three, is the grommet stem. Put the grommet stem in there. And then... You uh, insert the hole, insert, insert it in the hole. Seems like the hole is smaller than what. Make the hole. So, this thing fits now, so. Just put it like this. And then you're gonna put the washer on the top. And then you're gonna hammer the top of it with this. This thing, just hammer the top. So I don't have a hammer, so as you can see, I'll be using my pliers to hammer it. Start hammering. So after I hammered it, this is how it looks like. The back looks like this. The washer rolled. As you can see that. And the front looks like this. So I have to do it on the other side. And then you can start hanging it. Like this. So that's how it looks like when it's hanged. So I did one side. Did one side, so I'm doing the next side. Just have to. Push the block at the bottom. Use a hard surface and then hammer it. 
I'm right in a like a very firm surface, like a concrete or a. So, so to assemble it, I already made a hole. To assemble it, put this part at the front. And we're supposed to hammer it like this. This way. And then put the put the washer in front. Let's see if you can see that. So this in the bottom. A nice part over there and you're gonna put it over like that and you're gonna hammer the top until it curls in this. Let's put on the just hammer Daddy. this one I'll be hammering it I'll come back when I'm done so I just hammered the other side now it has both sides with the grommet and that looks much better Okay, let's get out. You could let's hang it. Boat. I'll show you how to hang it on the on. Uh, chart, the DIY the chart hanger. Uh, so I'll be showing you how to attach the charts on the ring. Hey, bud, sit down, buddy, sit down. So here's the chart. And this is the rack. We got our rings over here. I got, I'm gonna be using just two rings instead of three. So, see the grom grommet makes it look, uh, look better. And it's gonna be more like, it's gonna be stronger and it's not gonna tear it easy. So, just put the ring like this. So, that's our DIY charts. It's okay, Shiloh.